Welcome back. For everyone who doesn't know me, I'm Miss Moneymaker. This is Anything That Moves. We're going to go over technical analysis. That's what I do. I like to look at charts. I'm good at that. I'm good at pattern recognition. So I'm just going to go through Kava because Kava is good. Why is Kava good? Well, look, for the last year, look what we've been doing, right? So I said, let's just do some of some of this today okay we're gonna go into kava kava is definitely not a dumpster dive kind of stock this is great i mean look here for the year and everything okay so let's get into it miss moneymaker anything that moves you see right here last couple of days this is the daily time frame everybody kava daily time frame after we popped up this is after earnings kava's been looking kind of cute okay this is support right here 110 for everybody who's like well should i get in can't tell you that we're right here at 116 dollars right support at 110 let's just show you that i think it looks kind of obvious boom all right because once it popped up from earnings it came back down to this level right and it was walking on it like the floor of a house and then it's going up Okay, so it's looked like we're going up from here, this kind of direction. All righty. But this is the plot twist. Dun, 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 dun. Will this happen? What, Miss Moneymaker? What are you going to say? Well, if the market happens to go down, September, has, remember, September historically is a bad month for the stock market. Okay? It is. I don't make this up. You can Google it. It'll tell you. So if the market comes down and everything like that, Will Kava come down to fill this area? What am I talking about? Gap fill. Okay. Take a moment and you could read this little part here. When the price of a stock moves back to the pre-gap level. Mm -hmm. After a gap up, see, it can fall back. So look at that. Fall back to where? To here. It's a possibility. I don't know. You don't always have to fill a gap, okay? So since people, investors, and everybody were kind of like, oh, the earnings were good, sometime when there's overreaction, when people overreacted, if people felt this was way too much, then it can come down to fill. But it didn't. It had a chance to do it already. It didn't, so it may not do that. But I wanted to make sure you knew, hey, if, if we come down, we may blow through there. We may come down here, okay? So just to know that. So now... What else is a supply? 14. Okay. Why am I saying around pretty, pretty much like 114? Why am I saying that? When we went up, we came down, we got two days on this level. In the past, we had some resistance at that level. Practically, when I, it says uh, 113.65. Just let's say 114. Okay. It's easier to say. So we sold before. We couldn't break above it. When we finally did, it became support. So we have some support at that level. So something to know. Now, where is our resistance? We had some issue here before. Couldn't break above. Let me change the color of my marker. Okay. We couldn't break above. We couldn't break above this area. So when we get back here, expect the 119, 120, same. 119, 119, 120, same thing, right? Okay. Expect that we may have a little problem again it may be a little resistance maybe a little problem getting through that and then after we do that let's see let's see up ahead here okay clearly like as we get up here you see there was a little problem here 122 but let's see maybe we'll just be able to go 125 and then kind of this 130 so you know, around here, we may have an issue too, okay? So, just wanted to make sure I told you some levels on Kava. Also, we're going to talk about Wingstop. Yes, we're talking about Wingstop. Why are we talking about Wingstop? We're talking about Wingstop because it's in the same type of family of, of stocks. It's like restaurant stocks, right? So, Wingstop is a nine, okay? Not bad. For the year, look, 126%. I mean, hey, not bad, not bad at all, right? So I just said, let me go over that real quick and the chart. And why do I want to talk about the chart right now? What's 
in that in that purple box see how we have wicks here one two three four okay so we touch down here right everything in the, it was brought back up see the wicks are going upward the wicks are going in an upward direction brought back up brought back up brought back up see boom nice support here so this area is a good buy zone that's my point right there that's what i'm trying to say so if we break down and we come into there i'm not saying that we will but if we do this is a very good area to pick some up so i want okay so this is the four hour time frame i just want to talk about what happens going up okay upward you see right here these three moving averages we have some congestion here so expect a little bit of a problem because see here in the past a little bit of a problem let me draw a little trend line real quick a little bit of a problem coming into around here this area okay because look here all this congestion sold off sold off try to get above here again sold off sold off so when you hit again around 390 expect a little bit of a problem okay expect a little bit of a problem so now then also as we get to 400 psychological number so once we get here yeah see hit here before and we came back down right came here chopped around came down so once we're starting again to 400 expect a little bit of problem before I go, I wanted to leave you with this. Mr. Man here, known as the greatest, he said, and I quote, don't count the days, make the days count. Don't count the days, make the days count. Of course, of course. Okay, he was the greatest back then, you know. So click like, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye for now.